Hey YouTube, how are you all doing? I think first time I'm saying hey YouTube. I guess it was the back in the days is the way Mark Rob08 used to go and older reviewers, gentlemen used to go. So hey YouTube, what's up? Peace. <laughs> so yes, as you could so as you could see that uh, previous video was not a very happy one. I was not fully okay or myself. Um, you guys saw, you know, it's, it's I don't want to talk about that. So I want to talk about fragrance. That's what makes me happy. This is what really makes me happy at this point. And I'm going to be talking about House of Kenzo. And the fragrance is none other than this gorgeous looking bottle. This is Kenzo Jungle. And pardon my French, it's it's L and Elephant. So Lalafant. <laughs> I really fancy the French. Their accent, it could be their cheese, wine, whatever it is. Or their beautiful women, but... I wish I could speak French. So yes, uh, it's a elephant edition and there's also the tiger edition of the jungle and there is also just Kenzo jungle. So I'm going to read you the notes. I'm going to show you the presentation. I'll talk to you about why I decided to buy this fragrance. Who is it for? Uh, is it purchase worthy? Is it a uh, full bottle worthy or whatnot? But let me show you first of all my scent of the evening. Okay. It's a uh, very beautiful. It's uh, when I was talking about France, I'm talking about Paris as well midnight in paris i cannot tell you enough you know how much i love this juice this was the first bottle also sentimental that i purchased in bangladesh first ever bottle and it was stalin enterprise yes when they were up there in the small shop and before they opened up with the new shop again this is it this is beautiful this is such a dreamy fragrance sweet and it's just sweet leather tonka powdery feel there's this rubber note to it just so many dimensions it's just one of the masterpieces ever so anyway so that's my scent of the night or rather the evening it's uh, approaching towards midnight yes it's approaching towards midnight so it's not fully morning yet so now let's focus into this house of kenzo so as you guys saw a few days back i talked about the kenzo puram which i thought was a brilliant fragrance this is a brilliant underrated juice it's called kenzo home and used to be known as kenzo puram with a, a different kind of bottle design but the, this this still this stuff still works for me it's a very good performer on me perfect summer and uh, spring days scent gives a feel of ocean oceanic uh, salty air and the nature of green you know that grass this very nice cooling fragrance and i i told i told you guys that you know i'm very looking forward to actually explore the kenzo house more so the thing is before the kenzo puram i purchased this okay let me show you the box okay i have it on the paper i'll talk about it and this fragrance actually it's meant for ladies okay I didn't know that when I purchased it and slowly with time I thought it was more of unisex vibe. So this is the box, let's say you must have seen the box not the bottle in many places. It says Kenzo Jungle, okay, and it says uh, EDP, the concentration is EDP, okay, at the side it's 100 mil, side also Kenzo, it's, the boxes took a little bit beating because it's an old box, okay, at the back, Kenzo Jungle, and side some information, made in France, the price is mentioned here, it's give or take 40 us dollars 45 us dollars okay so if you get 40 45 us dollars buy it um, <clears throat> it doesn't say anywhere elephant i think no it's just a kenzo jungle so thing is here's the bottle let me show you the presentation and let, and let me tell you why we decided to buy it so this fragrance here look at that bottle first of all it's just like one of those art pieces that you really want art piece or rather like uh, artifacts i don't know what you call those 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 uh, showcase you know art my 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 english pardon my english so this is one of the things that you really would like to display beautiful and display piece on your shelf look at the bottle for first of all this is not a straightforward bottle like a led tv or something it has curves here okay and it has it it, it reminds me a lot about the um i have a thing it is a Futura Lahom by Armaf. It had that curvy nature, but this this bottle is heavy as hell. You can see the curve here. And at the back, like this, juice, this color is blue. Not what's wrong with me, blue. Honey, sort of yellowish color. Bottom is your sticker. And there's this beautiful heavy. This this is what that catches the eye. This is the elephant, baby elephant, very, very royal. And uh, there's the cap. And the thing is, this this thing is very painful to take off. Very, very tough. It's very snug fit. It's more more snuggy than you would imagine. This is very heavy itself. This is really amazing. Look at that that elephant. Okay, and it's purely metal. Yeah, and the atomizer works fine. 
here is the atomizer golden atomizer i sprayed it here it's very very like powerful I, never mind let me show you the sprayer because that's what i like to do it has decent distribution but you don't need a lot of this stuff so it's okay so one thing i don't like about it is this the cap moment you you know when you close it, it it's nice okay it says kenzo here nice engraving but when you take it off you sometimes feel that it's going to be like taking off the atomizer as well that's strong so i love the bottle design a lot that's the reason i got this okay so let me tell you the story why i bought it this fragrance that day i went to the shop one of the shops in my local area i was like not sure whether i want to purchase something i was not sure what i'm gonna buy you know one of those days you just go to sniff fragrance and you just buy random fragrances and i sniffed it on the paper i was like what the hell is that i literally like i i didn't expect that you know i didn't expect i usually don't expect fragrances to wow me or surprise me in either good or bad way sometimes they do surprise you this caught me off guard i didn't get the opening i'm like what is that that is some powerful shit you know seriously like that's really like powerful you know this fragrance it hits you right to your face boom this has some potency so first of all this i said is the ladies perfume and uh, i saw the reviews on it i think before i purchased it i think thomas o'brien my good friend now on facebook his uh, channel name if i got it wrong please pardon me ouch 110 uh, fragrance i guess hopefully i got that right and i'm in his facebook group He's one of my favorite reviewers. So Thomas, he, the way he spoke about it, I'm like sold. And there's another lady, I forgot her name, channel name. She said she bought multiple bottles of it. And it reminded her of the Maharaja, Maharajas of India. Maharaja, Maharaja, you know how you already said. More like Indian um, holy. You're living in the Indian hotel. and the alley, you smell some, you know, some Indian spices and some incense. Yes, some, some... Um, sandalwood or something like that so that's what i guess that elephant is all about it's it's kind of like a exotic sort of a fragrance so i think the elephant it, and the jungle name uh okay in the notes in fragrantica it says kenzo jungle was the name of the first kenzo boutique in paris okay and uh they have two themes on this nature and florals flower and the thing is you know this they give it a spicy kick to it so the opening the the top notes would be um they said mandarin orange i think yeah mandarin fresh cardamom cumin and clove cloves so that's what you basically get but i get very little hint of that that mandarin orange because orange as far as i know okay this side orange is supposed to smell like very bright and citrusy in this case it's not it's very creamy and the, the dominance is actually taken over by the cloves you really have to love your cloves and your spices you little bit of cumin and you like if you really love vanilla that's what this the whole thing the center stage is those things you know so cardamom yes you do get a little bit of lanvi delong cardamom so if you love lanvi delong you might like it it's very very unique okay and the meat you get mango licorice heliotrope ylang ylang that's the floral and the base i think is patchouli vanilla amber kashmir okay so those are the notes it's very sort of complex and it's very much like a dense strong scent even though it's made for women i think it's it the men can really rock this this is one of those fragrances both gender can rock this like uh confidently seriously and it's built for i think winter definitely winter nights this has serious potency i mean when i talk about hawas when i talk about the new shura beast mode performance this is beast mode i use this every time i get eight to nine hours in the heat it doesn't want to leave my skin so that's one of the good things longevity i would say 9 out of 10 very beautiful longevity on this projection beautiful projection some people say after 2 hours it comes close to the skin becomes more of a skin scent i don't get that i get i really have to literally put my hand away because it's like hitting your nose so it's very powerful dense scent and it's not uh, today is what you very find find like this hollow obvious and see through very simple simplistic fragrance this is artistic fragrance okay and the bottle is as exotic as the smell so the opening I, I was telling you i was getting that mandarin very little bit of it but the center stages you can start to get that this is going to be vanilla based scent so the vanilla mixed with that clove uh, cumin and uh, cardamom as well as i think a um, bit of that fruity feel but that goes away fast 
in the center stage that florals beautiful florals start coming in and that that's the point you're gonna feel like the holy spirit is coming you know and that's where it reminds you i never been to india but you know the feel of holy india like some incense burning and you can smell that sandalwood the fresh sandalwood which is not enlisted in this i don't know if, if it does smell like sandalwood i wouldn't say so it's more of a almost leaning towards you know theory mugle they have their angel line it's very gourmand and that's very heavy on the base okay that's sort of a scent winter time it will warm you up like anything the spice it's like the spices it's not nose burning spice it has that beautiful vanilla that you know accompanies it which is really what i really love so it is different i was not very big fan of it i didn't think i was going to buy it but for collection purpose i kept it i'm going to use this severely in the winter one spray of this is good enough i'm telling you you don't need three four sprays of this and this edp concentration it will last you very long time very very long time it smells very up class posh and if the name was not kenzo it was something like a uh, let's say dior release or what are the other up class uh, i don't know if some niche company released this it would be a it would be a big name because people often they spend like literally thousands even of dollars they get like two hours of performance this stuff performs so i think this is great for ladies who are confident this is a little bit more mature ladies um who are already working have kids and uh young ladies can rock this but very very minimalist you know you have to be minimalist you cannot put a lot of it men you can wear this very confidently you can wear this because of that cardamom because of the clove and no one's going to smell like you so when it's like very cold outside it will warm you up very nicely i can think of this as a perfect holiday scent you can take it with you very different it's different than running in the mill it can be a wedding scent okay it can easily be um, <clears throat> let's say um winter time you can work you can use this for work no problem but what i the mango you know it's this mango note somewhere there yeah i do get the right mango somewhere in the mid and the patchouli comes the darkness comes so it makes it very nice sort of like burberry's london but more denser version that sort of uh, imagine burberry's london and uh, angel by thier mugler they came and collabed and then created this so kenzo house is very different unique which i really like and it's definitely worth the buck it's not supremely expensive but it's many part of the world it's very rare to get so longevity in the end i would say presentation first of all look at the presentation that is mind blowing a plus for the presentation this very royal looks awesome in your collection uh, both men and women can use it age for it little mature this is not everybody's cup of tea i'm telling you right now this is very love it or hate it this would be um, definitely try try word this something new explore your horizon you know don't wear the same stuff that others are wearing don't wear the same typical same pleasant if you are tired of that this is next level all right uh weather cold weather better more cold there is it's better in the heat you can wear it but if it's a little bit cooler uh summer evenings okay high class parties you can rock this this smells very premium very very rich i'm not going to hype it up this is not for definitely for everyone but it's for acquired taste okay and to me this is niche this is niche quality okay um the versatility however i think you cannot wear this like in school so the very few places you can wear it but if you really want to make your personality known to other people yeah this can be your signature scent so versatility is a little bit low as a 6 out of 10 and it's love it or hate it be very careful never blind by this it's very strong it took me a while to like it and I'm, it's growing on me those kind of fragrance so I, i like keeping those fragrances in my collection which i can go to when i'm tired of my usual same old same old you know so what remark for what it is for performance for um, the smell for the complexity of it and how well this is built i love this so much i'm going to give this 8.5 out of 10 definitely try worthy of looking at worthy looking at and it's a hidden gem in the society the community rather and kenzo jungle the elephant 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 version it's a, it's it's a definitely a very rich fragrance okay i'm really happy i got this in my collection and i can see why people would buy a couple of multiple bottles of it because it grows on you over time so that's my review on kenzo jungle the elephant version if i find the tiger version i'll review it take care guys have a nice day it's a pleasure talking to you thanks for all the support you guys gave me love you bye bye